Worms, viruses, and Trojan horses. A lot of people get these confused. What's the difference between a virus and a worm? They both do malicious things, but the difference is a worm is self-propagating. What's going to happen is that once a device becomes infected with a worm, that worm will then somehow propagate itself. It'll either send itself copies of itself onto the network to specific IP addresses on the same segment so those devices get infected, or it'll actually do something more sinister, like go into your email, find your contact list, and email a copy of itself to everybody on your contact list. Now, a virus, on the other hand, executes malicious code, but in order to move from host to host, it needs human intervention. It needs someone to actually take that program from one device and actually run it on a different device. Now, Trojan horses. What's the, what's the big thing about a Trojan horse? It does the same thing. It could be a virus. It could be a worm, but it masks itself, okay? It might, it might be attached as a payload to a game. So you go on the internet, you say, oh, this game is pretty cool. You download it, you run it. Guess what? You're running that game, but in the background, that virus or that worm has been activated.